Hi everyone, welcome to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith, and in this News and Updates video, we're gonna go through a few quick items and then have a draw to give away this copy of SpyNet. So stick around for that. The first thing I wanted to mention was this bell icon. You'll find it beside the subscribe button on YouTube channels. And actually, I think it only appears once you subscribe. Either way, YouTube has complicated things a little bit. Now, if you want to be notified about all the new content, on a channel that you're subscribed to, you have to also click that bell icon. Otherwise, YouTube tries to make a guess about what content you want to see from your subscriptions, and that's what it puts in your subscription feed. And I know about this because some of my viewers had contacted me and said, oh my goodness, I didn't realize you'd put out so many videos in the last little while, I wasn't seeing them in my subscription feed, and that's why. So, if you wouldn't mind, if you want to see all of our content or be notified of it so you can potentially watch it, you'll want to click on that little bell icon beside the subscribe button. Speaking of recent videos, uh, last week, at least at the time of, of this recording, I put out some videos related to my trip to Germany last year in the Essen Spiel Fair 2017. And it's definitely a very different kind of content than you're used to seeing here. So if you saw those and you're thinking, like, what the heck is this? <laughs> well, first of all, that's a very reasonable reaction. There's no tutorials in there. Uh, there's no gameplay. Well, there's a little bit of gameplay, but not the kind you're used to seeing. But this was a, a fun kind of content for me to put together. So even if you're not considering going on the tour with us this year, you might enjoy checking this out. For me, this was my first time traveling across the world to a country like Germany and, and really leaving North America in that way. And so if you want to see what that was like through my eyes at the very least, um, then this is something that you might enjoy checking out. I'll put a link to those videos in the description below. And my intention, because this is an ongoing series, is to release two of these each week. My plan is uh, each Tuesday and Thursday to release a new video until the series is complete. I also want to let you know that Board Game Geek has just announced this releasing images of their new artist series, Series 2. These are, well, in my opinion anyway, really, really beautiful art prints that have been commissioned by Board Game Geek by artists in the industry and maybe even outside the industry. I think so far the artists have all been in the industry, but either way, these are artists who are giving their interpretation to a single art print of popular or well-known board games. And really, again, the artwork is just phenomenal. And they're really, I find, creative reinterpretations of the games. I have a few of these myself from the first series, which is already available, so if you want to purchase those, I'll put a link to them in the description below. But if you also want to check out Series 2, I'll put a link to that artwork. They haven't released all four of the art pieces. They're doing that on a weekly basis, but the first two are released already, so you can check those out if you might be interested. Speaking of Board Game Geek, I'm very excited to announce that I'm going to be a guest at BGG Spring this year in May 2018. I would love to see you there. So register, join me, and let's play games until our eyeballs fall out, because Board Game Geek at their conventions has, at least in my experience, the largest board game library that they bring to these things. And BGG Spring is very laid back. It's going to be just lots of time for us to hang out and play games together. I'm really looking forward to this. So I'll put a link in the description below to the registration site where you can get involved with BGG Spring. While we're speaking about conventions, I just want to quickly congratulate Aircon, which has just reached a new high for registrations this year. I'm excited again to be going to that convention in March, which is in the UK. So if you live in the nearby area and would like to join me to play some games, hang out and have some fun and attend some of their events, then consider signing up. I'll put a link in the description of this video to that convention as well. And of course, in addition to some travel, there's still lots and lots of video content that's being created for the channel. And you might have noticed recently that we've actually created some videos for older games or games that have stood the test of time, like Ticket to Ride, and Carcassonne, and my intention is to sprinkle some of those older classics in amongst the other content that we would typically create for some of the newer, hotter games. You might be thinking, well, Rodney, why create videos for some of these older games anyway? People know how to play Ticket to Ride and Carcassonne, don't they? Well, yes, a lot of people, a lot of us who've been in the hobby for a long time certainly do, but I think it's important to remember that for people who are just entering the hobby today, Carcassonne and Ticket to Ride are the hot new games. These are often the games that new players first discover. And so it's my hope that on this channel, not only are we helping people who have been in the hobby for a long time, and we'll certainly continue to do that with all the new hot games that I also want to cover, but I also want to try to lower the barrier of entry for people who are new to the hobby. And I've been really pleased to see that, re that the reception to these new videos has been very positive. Even people who maybe already know how to play these games have chimed in and have been appreciative to see some of these videos for games that are their favorites or that they can then share with their friends who are entering the hobby new. So, We'll continue to cover those games. In fact, it's actually been really helpful to have that content to do because 
I have about two or three new games that I'm going to be covering on the channel here, and there's been some delays on their delivery to the house here. And so it's been helpful to have some of this other content to work on. So if you see me doing some of those older videos, in part it's because I'm waiting on some of the games that I'm going to be covering that are newer and newer to the hobby. I also want to let you know that Pair of Dice, Pair of Dice the YouTube channel, and Rolling Dice and Taking Names, the podcast, are both having their fundraisers currently. And these are both good friends of mine. I'd like to encourage you to support them if you listen or watch their content. And they're currently fundraising on PodPledge which is a platform like Kickstarter and Patreon and Indiegogo and that sort of thing. But it was actually created by Chaz Marler of Pair of Dice Paradise. Not specifically for board game creators, but I think you'll find there are a lot of board game creators on there. The benefits of this particular platform are that it allows you to combine many of the benefits from other platforms into a single one. So if you're someone who likes to donate just once per year, then you have that option. You can donate in a lump sum. If you're someone who prefers to donate over time, sort of like with Patreon, you can also do this, and then PodPledge calculates how much you've donated in total over time to unlock the various perks that are being offered by the content creator. So you can go to PodPledge, I'll put links to their campaigns in the description of this video if you'd like to check it, that out and also support them. And I, I encourage supporting them not only because they're good friends of mine, but I'm also supporting them and this is content that I watch and listen to on a regular basis because they've been doing this for a long time, they create quality content, and I think they really do help support our hobby. Okay, slight change of plans. Uh, normally I would do the uh, contest draw uh, on the iPad, uh, and normally that's, that causes enough problems, but uh, I can't get it to load there. So I've come to the computer here, we're gonna do the drawing right, right here. So apologies for the extreme close-up, but <laughs> here we go, let's find out the winner of Spinet. Draw the winner. Ooh, this is exciting. The winner is Remy Thibault. Congratulations, you have won a copy of Spinet, and I will uh, send you an email to get your mailing address and information, and then ship this out to you as soon as possible. Thanks to everyone who entered the contest. We'll have some more of these in the future. But that's really everything for now, so until the next episode, thanks for watching.